Okay, uh, well I've got myself set up so I can compare the old uh, uh, Raspberry Pi Raspberry and image um, with the new one on the top there. So in Scratch. So I'm running uh, Clifford's Asteroid Blaster game which has always been the uh, one we've used to sh uh, highlight you know, any performance or bugs or anything because it's been very good. It, it found the sticky keys bug and it found the variable display bug. So this is the bottom one here and I just simply fire one and two and three and and that's how long it takes to get to the right hand top left hand corner so that's using the old image come up to the top one here let's get my mouse lined up green flag it try that one one and two and oh. so there you are so the top one one and two and and the missiles there go up the bottom one just click on it one and two and three and I mean you know basically you've got um I'm gonna say a third faster I don't know if it's 50 no it's about a third faster isn't it um so but this program is actually sort of quite complex for one for a pie you wouldn't write it as a beginner but uh, a guy called Clifford tested it out back in the day um, even on um, you know the uh, new image there, it's a little bit jerky but if you run your Pi, this is just running on a 700 megs Raspberry Pi um, if, you, if you manage to overclock your Raspberry Pi you'll find it runs very smoothly in full screen mode so if you switch to full screen mode and uh, play this running at a gigahertz it's uh, quite playable but um, I just use it as a test. Let's go back there. So there we are. Um, first little test of the Raspberry Pi with a new scratch image. And it's a third faster for doing this sort of stuff. So that's great progress.